welcome back to my channel. For those of you that might be new to the channel, my name is Angie Patricio. I'm an industrial psychologist and the founder of Define My Future, an organization focused on having a massive impact in the world by helping you navigate change in the digital age. Today we're going to be getting a bit more real and speaking about quite a contentious topic within the South African environment. What are psychometric assessments? Why are only professionals allowed to administer them? And what benefit can you get from getting a professional to run psychometric assessments for your organization. Before we get into it, if you find value on our channel and would like to see more of our up-to-date content, hit that subscribe button and make sure that you click on the bell notification icon. So without further ado, let's get into it. Within South Africa, according to Form 208 from the HPCSA, the use of psychometric measuring devices, tests, questionnaires, techniques or instruments which are used to assess intellectual or cognitive ability or functioning, aptitude, interest and personality makeup or personality functioning is constituted as a psychological act which according to the health professions act only registered psychologists are permitted to perform these psychometrics which tap into psychological construct must be used interpreted and controlled by psychologists with the exception of certain psychological tests that meet certain criteria and can be used by other professionals so psychometric assessments are the tools that professionals would use in reaching their final diagnosis let's look at a more practical example to understand the use of these assessments. Let's take for instance you go see a doctor because you haven't been feeling well. During the consultation the doctor might use equipment to measure your blood pressure and using his knowledge, understanding and expertise of the human body to determine if you have a more serious underlying condition and intervene. In the same way, professionals use psychometric assessments as a tool to provide more information about a person and using their knowledge, understanding and expertise is able to diagnose and intervene within their area of specialization. So in order for us to understand why psychometrics are only run by professionals within South Africa, we need to understand a bit more of the history of where psychometrics came from. The first paper and pencil assessment was used in South Africa in 1916 to identify special need school children. In 1923 to 1929, controversy hit where differences of intelligence between racial groups was assessed, attributing the findings towards inherent differences of intelligence between the racial groups. However, when conducted in South Africa, the differences were attributed to environmental factors and educational factors, and thus the results could not be interpreted. By 1943, huge contributions were made to the African intelligence debate, concluding by 1949 that many cognitive tests were deeply entrenched in culture and impacted by other factors. After 1994, the HSRC became more focused on readdressing equity issues in South Africa. The Employment Equity Act initially banned psychometric assessments, but after much debate saw value in psychometric assessments being administered only if they were fair, unbiased, reliable and valid for all employees and job applicants. By 2003, the HSRC relinquished their role as test distributors and set up a tender process for private organizations to distribute their psychological tests. However, to maintain fairness of the use of psychometric assessments, the Health Professions Act enforced more stringent regulations. As professionals registered with the HPCSA, our number one call is to do no harm. And we are held accountable to that with our registration with the Health Professions Council of South Africa. So how can your organization benefit by using professionals to administer psychometric assessments? Firstly, practitioners follow best practice and are required to to maintain competency in their field, adhering to an ethical code of conduct for accountability. Secondly, practitioners are equipped with the specialization of knowledge, expertise, and understanding of psychological contracts. Lastly, practitioners look to optimize organizations in the future with recommended improvements and continuity. As part of our psychometric assessment services, we focus on preparing organizations and individuals for the digital revolution through individual and team development. If this is something you might be interested in, get hold of us directly or through our website. Thanks guys for listening to our channel. We really appreciate the support and as always hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Let us know if there's any other videos you may be interested in us doing on psychology in the workplace in the comment section below. If you got value out of this video and would like to see more of it, hit that subscribe button and follow us on social media. Until next time, stay awesome, stay sweet and keep living your destiny.